3% of the world is born with this pretty much magical ability and nearly none of the people born with this ability actually know how to use it. If you wanna find out if you're born with this ability, all you have to do is go to my website, plug in your information, and it's gonna generate you a body graph. Now the body graph is what we use in human design to figure out what your circuitry is, what you were born with. What you're looking for is this center right here. If this center is white, like mine is, because this is my chart, you're born with this superpower, and it's called an undefined sacral. In order to understand the undefined sacral, you have to understand the defined sacral. This is an example of a defined sacral. See how it's red, it's colored in and connected to another center, whereas the undefined center is not colored in and it's not connected to any other center. So this defined sacral here is gonna let this person know whether or not their body is generating energy to be invested into something. Now this is a superpower in its own right because somebody with a defined sacral can learn and implement a strategy of trusting the sacral, trusting the uh-huhs and uh-uhs to guide them. For the 30% of us that have an undefined sacral, instead of putting out our gut response, this undefined sacral can take inventory of the sacral responses within the people and the environments around us. And this gives us a magical ability of sorts to know what's going to satisfy somebody versus what's going to frustrate them. And sometimes we even know it before the other person knows it. Now, just like everything in the world, if you don't have awareness of what's happening here, it's really easy to fall into a trap. People pleasing, doing things just to satisfy other people, taking on other people's frustration as though it's your own, in your own body, not having enough energy, but thinking that you have enough energy because you're with somebody who has a lot of energy. You see where I'm going with this? In a nutshell, if you don't use this undefined sacral the way that it was intended to be used, which is to sample the sacral impulses from those people around you, it's going to become a fucking prison. So one of my favorite ways to work with my sacral is actually to use the sacral in my sacral calibrations. If you haven't seen those videos before, go to my page, look for the sacral calibration playlist and check out what's going on there. I'm giving you an opportunity to respond, uh-huh, uh-uh, uh-huh, mm. Uh, to hear what your sacral sounds like. So that way, when you're in the moment, when you're living your life and you hear these, uh-huh, uh-uh, you know that, well, hold on a second. These are not guiding me. They might be just telling me about the people that are around me. And this might prevent you from making a decision, taking a job, entering into a relationship based off other people's satisfaction, frustration, other people's sacral energy and not considering your own. Having an undefined sacral doesn't mean that you don't have a sacral. It doesn't mean that you can't satisfy yourself or you won't experience frustration. It just means that yours is special in the sense that it's able to catalog, categorize, receive samples of other people's sacral information, not just your own. Let me know if you have an undefined sacral in the comments. If you found this helpful, share it with somebody else. And of course, if you don't know your information, like I said in the beginning of the video, go to my website, reikimarco.com, plug in your information, and it's gonna pop you out a body graph. That's entirely free. Now, if you want more info about your body graph, I have reports that are only $20 that'll tell you a stupid amount of information about your body graph and how to use human design to make your life better. Peace.